I reconfigured the end table here um, because there was a device here that you'll notice if you remember and go way back with my channel is no longer here. Uh, what I have here now is one of these Amazon Echo trapezoid things with the screen on it and with the Echo Connect it now will display the caller ID and announce it. Not that the phone doesn't. Oh, a little dust on that. Not that the phone doesn't, but uh, anyway, uh, the uh, this will display it right on there. And I didn't have a good spot for that. There were a whole bunch of old remotes here and stuff like that that I didn't use anymore. Like I have a DVD player and a Blu-ray player and a this and a that. And there, there was just so many remotes here. And nobody watches Blu-rays. Nobody watches DVDs. So I took the batteries out and I put the remotes away in a drawer. So that way the batteries won't leak. And this will serve the place of the device that used to be here. And that device is this. The Discovery Channel Store branded Olympia Infoglobe. This has a whole bunch of LEDs on a rotating arm and through persistence of vision that spins and it will display time and date various messages you have programmed in as well as caller ID. Now when I first got this we still had POTS service and we didn't pay for caller ID so I had no use for that function although I said gee that would be great and then when I got the house here Everything's voice over IP, caller ID is included, and this was great. And it worked great for like five years. I got this it, it, pretty much as soon as it came out, uh, 03, I think, 2003. But in time, they get knackered. And of course, as soon as you like something, they stop making it. They don't make these anymore. Ten years ago, I had a video that this was knackered. And that video is only a minute long, so I'm going to throw that in right here. Well, boys, she's knackered. That's it. You can see there's two uh, LEDs that are out on it. The uh, lowest one that's out uh, was going out for a while, but I had the thing uh, turn on and off for uh, like the overnight hours and that. And uh, it stayed on. It was working great. Uh, after it had been on for like eight hours, it would, it would somehow come back and then we were good. But uh, we had a power outage, boys. And it knackered fucking everything in the damn house. So now I got two out. If I smack it with a remote control, sometimes the top one comes back. You can see. Oh, maybe we even lost another one. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to have to try to open it up. And fit. Oh, now we just lost everything. It's just fucked now. There. So I'm going to have to open it up and try to fix it. And it's probably going to be knackered and they don't make it no more. So I can't get it and it sucks. Well, it's gotten a lot worse since then. So let me power it up. It gets up to speed. There's only like two LEDs left that actually work. There's a site I found online that explained that dirt and dust gets in there. And that can cause it not to work. And they said you just take a brush and brush it. I don't know if it's going to fix it or not. I had attempted to open this once before and was not successful. It's a very precarious process. So we're going to try it today because at this point I really have nothing to lose. I have another device that, while not really as cool, but cool in its own right, will perform the same functionality. So let's get the camera set up and we'll see if I can finally crack this open and maybe fix it. Five years ago I had reviewed this Aurea 
toolkit. There's going to be a link in the prescription showing the review of this. It's a very expansive set, and I'm ashamed to admit that I've never needed anything out of it. I took a couple pieces out of it, but I had a video on this and actually modifying it. So if I open it up, the first thing was the screwdriver kit here, and I modified the kit, or the, rather the, uh, the screwdriver itself, if I can get the case open, there we go, by drilling through the hole there, so you can put a tool through that to give you more torque, which was something I had on another set and other screwdrivers, which I found to be a very useful thing. But we're not going to be using the screwdrivers today. In here, however, I found a few things. All of these little plastic jobbies that may help me pry. I'm going to pull all of those out because they may be useful. And on this side, there are metal ones. And the black stick. So I have all of the tools I need right now. Just put that aside. And we can try and open this. Now, there is no video that I found on YouTube at this point in time. Uh, nobody has these things anymore. So <laughs> it's kind of a lost art. But anyway, uh, first and foremost, this has batteries in it. And I think it still does. Oh, yeah, it does. Uh, they're dead. They've been dead. Fortunately, they're not Dura leaks, so they didn't leak. We'll get rid of those, and I'll leave that off. From what I understand, you do not need to remove these four screws. So I'm going to go with that and hope that that is the case. You then have to take the blue dome off, and I can just barely get a thumbnail in there. Now, like I said, this is I don't know that I'm going to be able to open this or fix it, so this video may be falling flat on its face. I have nothing to lose by trying, so that's what I'm going to do. And you have to pry and be careful not to break the dome. So from what I read, you pry over here to the right of the right button. And there's a clip somewhere back here, a clip somewhere back here. And then the left one, you have to be exceedingly careful with because that has a micro switch. I don't know why, because <laughs> the dome is impossible to get off. But that has a micro switch, and if you break that tab, you're screwed. So I, I really don't know how far I'm going to get here. This tool I don't know. Like I, I need some time to just play with this. So rather than waste your time on camera, I'm going to pop it. But that's the idea is that you have to get and pop all of the clips and God only knows how this is going to go. So I'll see you in a bit and we'll see what happens. I felt more comfortable taking the screws out uh, even though they said you don't need to and I was able to get that off. If they had told you where the clips were that would have helped but they didn't and no information anywhere so of course, you end up breaking stuff, and I broke a couple things. So, here's what broke. The case broke out. Where each of those two clips were. But these two seem to be intact, although I think one of those broke. This one. Which is the right one, which is okay, because the micro switch is allegedly in there. And that one appears to be okay. Now, I don't know anything more at this point. I'm going to get a magnifier, and I'm going to 
look very closely at that and see if I see any dirt there. I don't know if the camera would even pick it up. As far as the pieces of the case I broke out, I'm not even worried about it. It's on the back, so it's not really that noticeable anyway. So that's fortunate in that regard. I have my big magnifier thing, headset. And I'm going to go ahead and inspect that. I see a little hair or fur of some kind on that. I don't know. And these things indeed look pretty filthy. I have, I'll try to show you. So they look kind of filthy. I don't know. I have a brush over here. I think this came with one of the China vacuum cleaners. And you're supposed to just, oh wow, through the magnifier I can see that. Wow. Holy crap. Do you see the little black dots there? That's all stuff I brushed off. I guess I'll keep brushing a bit. This did unfortunately fall once because cats. They said the dust can cause the LEDs to not function. I'm going to turn it around and just brush that off as well for what it's worth. In fact, there's even, I don't know if you can see, a little scuff or scrape mark from when it fell while it was on. Um, they say don't power it without batteries. Yeah, sure. They say that it's not going to power up without the dome on it. I think I see a micro switch down in this here. There's something rattling in there. Maybe bits of plastic. I don't know. So it's either the same, worse, or better. I just want to try powering it uh, without the cover on. Just to see it not do anything. Okay. Reasonable. So I'll try to snap it on because there's nothing more to service. Nothing more to do. Well, um... I guess it's time. It may need batteries, I don't know. Okay, it either broke or it snapped in. I think it snapped in. Um, yeah. Barely. It probably broke. But that's alright. Like I said, I got nothing to lose. All right, this is it. It's either going to work or nothing. It spins. Takes a little bit. Sometimes it wouldn't even display. It's better. Is it? No? A little bit? Not really. How far can I go? About that far. Well, no better, no worse. Indeed, there's a micro switch. Just for 
my own edification, can I hit that? Oh, I can. All right, it's not that big of a deal. I don't know what this red light is supposed to do, but with batteries in it that stayed on. I don't think brushing it anymore is going to help anything. I think it's just shot, really. But indeed, there was junk on it, that's for sure. It probably just lived its day, is my guess. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit that with some alcohol, just to try it and let it dry, and I'll be back. All right, standard fare. I got 91% IPA over here, and uh, I clean that. Yeah. That's pretty dirty. That was pretty dirty. I cleaned the entire face of this underneath as best I could and got an exceptional amount off of the solder joints to this little stand-up board. Pretty much has all evaporated at this point, so there's nothing left to do but try it again. And now that I know where the override switch is. Whoop, I slipped off. One more time. I slipped off again. Okay, there we go. Well, we got, we had, <laughs> we had two more lines back. It's a little better, but not good. Wow, trying to pry that took the corner of this black stick and knackered it. It was built not to be serviced, that's for sure. If I take the black stick and just sort of scrape away, I think it's pretty much a lost cause. I used the black stick at first, which sort of knackered it, and I also used these little blue jobbies here. I didn't end up using the metal ones, although I think that probably would have been a better option. Yeah, I think it's just knackered, and that's really all there is to it. They didn't mention cleaning anything on this side. Somebody said they took the rotor off. I need my uh, magnifier here. But there's nothing to do once that's taken off. There is a small screw, three small screws. Well, I guess we'll try it one more time and I guess it maybe won't hurt to pull that and take a look on the underside. There's a lot more circuitry there. Maybe there's metal contacts that can be cleaned. I don't know. Yeah, that's great. So let's try this one more time. I'm sure nothing has happened, but... It's only a little better, but not great. 
So these are maybe one aught, maybe one aught screws. Let's see if I have a bit to fit that. No? Yes. Oh, those come out quick. That bit is not great. I have a slightly smaller one. There it is. just comes off like that. Well here's the underside of the board. Is that filth under the board? Yeah it's pretty filthy. Maybe I'll clean the whole thing down with alcohol. I don't think that's going to help anything, but uh, that's significant dirt. These are marked positive and negative, at least on the board, although on the rotor I don't see that. Another interesting thing, oh, in fact, That might be the culprit. From what I understand, this works via infrared. So let's see if I can get, where's that black stick here? So positive and negative will attach the pads on the board when it's screwed in. But if you look carefully, and I don't want to turn this too far, if you look down in there, where's the best there? That is an infrared emitter. And take a look on the board. There's a pickup right over there. So I'm going to clean all of that down. And put it back together and see if that does anything. I don't know that it will. I think the board itself is shot, but we'll see. So let me get some more Q-tips and start cleaning. I took the Adrian's Digital Basement approach and soaked the entire board front and back, or top and bottom, however you want to articulate that, in IPA, and brushed it real good, cleaned it. I got more black gunk off. The infrared didn't seem that bad. I got to say that that's fairly well done, where they use infrared to beam the stuff up like that. Not bad. Hopefully I have this in the right orientation. I don't believe I mixed it up, but it's do or die time. This is it. Because if this doesn't do it, then I can't fix it. It's better -er, but not great. You can kind of read it. Well, it was a valiant effort. Apparently there's a drop of IPA here. I don't know why. That's odd because I'd let everything dry real good. It is what it is. Uh, this is the Discovery Channel one, but the actual thing was made by Olympia. And I found the book for it online. I have the book somewhere. 
But the book never mentioned this red LED, which was interesting. I seem to remember it was something to the effect of, like, the batteries are low or dead. Um... whatever it, it just it doesn't make a difference at this point i've done what i can do and it's just knackered it is still knackered it's better but still knackered oh well we tried interesting to note is there are three leds for each band that's there and I have seen this come up in red which is odd because it's not you know again the book makes no mention of that like the text would come up in red sometimes so that was certainly odd also um, could be bad caps this probably was part of uh, capacitor gate I didn't look at what cap was on the underside of the board and I'm not into that kind of stuff so I've done all I can do. That really is it. So it's just time to put it back together for how much it'll hold, which is not much. Just that one. And that's the deal. I'll put the screws in the bottom and this will sit in a pile somewhere. We'll try it again just for shits and grins. Yeah, it's still knackered. Oh well. What are you going to do? It's well built, but it was definitely not designed to run for 20 some odd years. These are on eBay. You can find working versions of them. But like I said, it's kind of a lost art, although that's not the right expression to use. Uh, I am just curious about that red light. And I have some knackered old batteries here that we can put in just to see, just to at least quell that mystery, just for fun, before we give this the uh, throat in a pile and forget about it. There is no red light now. And no red light now. I was correct. It has to do with batteries. What if I take them out while it's running? Can't hurt it anymore at this point, right? Yeah, as soon as I take one out, the red light goes on. and goes out when I make connection. So, it is what it is. I didn't have high hopes for this. I should not have waited 10 years. But, um, like I said, when they make something that you like, then they stop making it. Just like tab soda, they stop making it. And I liked it, and now you can't get that kind anymore. So it is what it is. Oh well, what are you gonna do? Ah, so like I said, it's kind of a lost, uh, a lost thing. An eBay one, I mean, that's only going to run for X amount more years and then just be knackered. But at least I was able to finally take it apart and find where the clips are. So if I ever do get another one, I can uh, possibly service that in a more timely fashion. You win some, you lose some. Like I said, this was not built for longevity, certainly not this kind of longevity, and uh, it is what it is. So thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, ring that bell while you're at it, because YouTube is like Arby's, they like it when you ring the bell. It's supposed to do something, I think. And take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.